What is up guys, Tomcat here, and in this video, it's going to be a little bit shorter than normal, but we're going to talk about something that's very specific to uh, the game in question. Now, before we go any further, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you guys see them first off, right when they come out, and also right when the latest mods for Spin Tires come out, when new uh, DLCs for Forza come out, and whatever else you guys want to watch my channel, make sure you're subscribed so you guys see all of those, like I said, right when they come out. Now, to get on to what we're actually talking about in this video, um, the basis of Spin Tires. Now, I actually didn't know that CCS updated this truck with new wheels and tires, and they look really, really good. These beadlocks with Swampers, they look damn good. But as you, uh, as you guys saw by the title of the video, Spin Tires, as a game, would be would not be here without mods. This is one of the things that a lot of people don't realize about the game is they're like, yeah, I know, Spin Tires coming to console because I talked about it a little bit in my previous video, and what a lot of people don't realize is without mods, Spin Tires, as a game, would be kind of dead. Uh, there wouldn't be a lot of people playing it at all. Uh, there wouldn't really be almost anybody playing it. And I think that that's, that's not exactly a great thing. I mean, the thing is, mods not only did mo not only are the mods in this game great and the modding community is awesome, but mods saved this game from just being another terrain simulator. Mods saved this game. And they saved it in one of the best ways possible because you never ha we never had a game like this before. And not only did we never have a game like this before, but we never had a game like this that did what it does this well. And that catered to the modding community so well. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later about why that's a little iffy as far as consoles go. Because I saw some people in the comment section of my last Spin Tires video saying, oh, well, Skyrim does mods on console, like, why can't spin tires, Oh, And it kind of, sort of, I, I get what you're saying, I, I understand what you're saying, but at the same time, it doesn't really work that way with spin tires. Spin tires modding is a very funky process because of the way the development versus the publishing, and you get into a lot of the different specifics of the game and how the game works, um, it's a very strangely set up and strangely coded game, and if you ever talk to people that mod this game, it's not the... It's an easy game to mod once you learn how it works, but it's not the easiest game to mod, uh, for sure, so... It's definitely not one of those games where you're just like, eh, we'll slap a couple mods in it and we'll go. So, I think you have to, um, come at it from a perspective of, well, we, you know... You have to come at it from a perspective of, well, this game was made to work on PC. It was made to work on PC, and it would need such a major overhaul to work on consoles. But the thing is, without mods, it wouldn't really be worthwhile to put it on console, if you guys see what I'm saying. It wouldn't really be worth their while to put it on console, because the thing is, the game, as it comes from the factory, is very... Um, is, is, is pretty short. There's not a lot to do. There's not a lot to do in the standard spin tires. Now, when you start adding mods in, that completely changes. That changes to a completely different game, completely different idea, completely different concept. But without that, you're kind of left with a game where you're pretty much driving UAZs and MAZs around all the time and logging. And while that can be fun, there's nowhere near as much longevity to that as there is when you start adding in mods like, for example, this Super Duty. So, and this Super Duty I actually really wanted to use because it's a good example of what you can do with mods like this, because this would have never been in the game otherwise. This would have never been in the game if it wasn't for modders creating mods just like this to put into the game because they wanted it there or because people asked for it. So, we really have the modding community to thank for the fact that Spin Tires is even a part of the conversation anymore, for the, even the fact that Spin Tires still exists, and whoa, holy hell, what are those? They look like they're out of freaking Jurassic Park. Damn. But, Spin Tires literally exists still because of the modding community and because of the modders that continue to keep it alive. Otherwise, this game, like I said, would not be here, and we, as players of Spin Tires, myself included, kind of owe a lot to the modding community for keeping this game pretty much alive. And, uh, because the thing is, I know that I wouldn't be playing, like, I, I, if there were no mods for this game, 
I wouldn't still be playing it. I would not still be playing this game at least nowhere near as regularly as I do if there were no mods. I, I, well, honestly, you know what? I actually kind of take that back. I don't think I'd be playing this at all if it didn't have any mods. And I think, not that I think it's a bad game, but just because it's not as interesting. Like, literally, without, that, that is the most horrible place to put a tree, and I don't know why the hell he put one there. I'm gonna go around this side. I feel like we'll be able to... Oh, yeah. Things flexes a hell of a lot, so it's got plenty of room to just get around the side. Another thing with the Spin Tires modding community is that the modding community around this game is very picky. The modding community around this game is very picky, meaning the fact that when you... When two modders kind of conflict on an idea, they don't always see eye to eye. I mean, that's always gonna happen in modding of video games. It just is what it is, and it's gonna happen. But... The thing is, that is what separates modders, and in, in turn, that's what kind of really drives the game forward and makes everybody's mods unique and, spe and, and specific to them. And the thing is, if it's a truck by CCS, you know it's a truck by CCS. If it's by Spun, then you know it's by Spun. If it's by Brute, you know it's by Brute, and so on and so forth. You know that these trucks are made by like, their respective modders. I mean, if you ask me who this truck was made by and I didn't even know, I would say it's like, I would be like, well, it's probably a CCS truck. Because you just know by the, by the way these guys make their mods and the way they the way they drive, the way they look, the way they're set up. You know, you end up really getting to know these mods and these modders based on the way these guys make their mods. And, again, with the console thing, it's just, I think a lot of people are just like, I get it. I get it, you guys want to see spin tires on the consoles and I get that you guys a lot of you guys don't have a crazy good PC but the thing is spin tires doesn't need a crazy a crazy good PC to run spin tires can run on a very average PC so like you may have to turn the settings down on some PCs but regardless you can run it it's not one of those crazy PC games where it's like you need a million billion gigabytes of RAM to even start it up so it's not anything like that if you guys were wanting to play spin tires but were worried about that don't worry about that. It's, it's like, 100% no big deal. Now, ooh, a little bit of a climb. Haven't been to this side of the map before, so it's kind of new to me. But, uh, should see how... I'm excited to see how this long wheelbase truck does. And, dude, she's walking it. She is walking right up this hill. That's awesome. Little jumpy when it finds grip. But, I mean, hey, these swampers are... Well, actually, these boggers are freaking doing work. They are doing hella work, dude. Holy crap. Whoa. Well, that's... Ugh, that's deep. Oh, my God. You need at least, like, 40s to get through here without bottoming out. Like, jeez. That is insane. But in closing, I wanted to say that the spin tires as a whole, as a game, still exists, in my opinion, still exists solely because of mods. If the mods weren't here, the game wouldn't be here. And that is why this game is what it is and has become what it has become. And I felt like I had I needed to make this video because I saw so many people in the script saying, Oh, why isn't it on Xbox? When does it come to the Xbox? It's like the thing is, it wouldn't work very well because the longevity would be really hurt by the fact that these mods aren't there or or would be really hard to be there. It would be really hard to get these mods to work. Now, if they could get these mods to work, if they, if you could get the same spin tires mods we have on PC to work on console, and that they would be able to be used, no problem, like, just fine, dude, I would be all for that. That would be the best, oh god, we got a map glitch, let me just pan away from that. Um, but that would be the best. That would be the best thing that could happen with the game. The best thing that could happen with the game would be for it to be on, you know, PC, Xbox One, and PS4 with mods on all systems. That would be, like, perfection for spin tires and, well, cross-platform play. But I don't know if any of those things are in the books for spin tires, and I can... Like, wow, holy crap, can you imagine going back up that? Holy crap. That's ridiculous. But anyways, that's one of the biggest things is, like... If they could do something even remotely close to that, or where they could work mods in somehow, we would have one hell of a game on our hands. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this response to some of those comments, 
regarding mods and spin tires and console play and that kind of stuff, then again, don't forget to click like, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more, as I said in the beginning of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys have an awesome day, or night, depends on when you're watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, talk to you guys later, Tomcat out.